When it comes to religion in college, students can be sort of afraid to bring up the subject. That's why students from a few organizations wade in to share diverse views on why religion in college matters. Well, I joined the impact movement about two years ago. Um, this was a really critical period in my life um, because I just came to know Christ. I just came to understand that, wow, like Jesus loves me and he died for me. I was still growing in Christ and um, it was amazing joining the impact movement because two of my friends, they actually challenged me like, join the impact and come to a game night, let's hang out, let's have fun. And I finally came after they'd been asking me for a while. Um, I finally came and I remember just being like, wow, these people really love me. They welcomed me with open arms. Um, they just, they showed love to me, they embraced me. And so like, uh, from that day, um, everything just clicked. Established in 1991, the Impact Movement is taking the truth of Jesus Christ to the campus, community, and the world by producing leaders of African descent who are spiritually focused, financially responsible, and morally fit. For Antoine Thomas and Maisie Jasper, the Impact Movement has served as more than just a place to make friends, but also a place to grow into confident leaders. The first time that I shared my faith um, was with the Impact Movement. In December, we went to a thing called a national conference. And I remember just, I was very scared, actually, <laughs> um, the first time, because I was like, oh my gosh, what if I say the wrong thing? I just had so many questions. Um, pertaining to sharing the faith and I was just like oh my gosh like I had this mindset of I have to say everything correctly or else they won't hear. I went out and shared my faith and I remember we did get rejected. Many times we got rejected. There was like maybe one lady that um, talked to us and she was really excited. She was already a believer and she talked to us about Christ. But I remember after leaving I just felt so down. I felt so discouraged and my friend Tia told me, she said, God just wants you to go there. He just wants you to be open, he wants you to be available, and just love these people. I guess the biggest advice um, is community. For me, like, like I said, I transferred, so in my old school, um, I was, I mean, in my old school, I was involved with a Christian organization, but, but I didn't really feel like the, the community was there. And so, um, and so like, I never stepped out on my faith. And so um, coming here, um, seeing the community that I had and, and growing with these people, um, it made me, um, more relaxed, made me more confident to go share my faith because I knew I was not alone. BCM stands for Baptist Collegiate Ministries. It is a student organization and basically not only USC students can come, but uh, Columbia College students, Benedict College, uh, Columbia International University. It's just like basically a youth group for college students. In addition to serving college students, the Baptist Collegiate Ministries opens their doors for international students as well as provides opportunities for current USC students to participate in various mission trips throughout the year closing the gap between those of different religious beliefs. BCM's international program is a really special part of the ministry. Uh, they have an international lunch on Thursdays from 12 to 1, and it's a really good opportunity for internationals to get free food and to work on their English even. Um, there's a free English class after the lunch. The staff, again, is just very welcoming and they love hearing about you know other cultures. I think BCM also does mission trips. Uh, this coming fall, we're actually going to either India or China, which is really exciting. And this summer, there are, I don't know how many students, but it's a solid group of students who's going to Africa, and they're really excited about that. I think BCM kind of gives students a sense of purpose because they can get involved and they can keep this place running and they can encourage other freshmen to come and get involved and I just I think it's a, a two-in-one type deal like it helps people get involved and gives you a sense of purpose but it also helps you grow spiritually. I think a part of ECM to me um, it means family to me. What I've learned being part of this ministry is mostly community and teamwork. Um, being on the leadership team has been a really good experience. Um, beyond making friendships, you learn how to work with other people. And it's a really great experience because, you know, everyone here is working toward a common goal and they're working for a common good. 
Global China Connection is an international organization that celebrates and educates the Chinese culture, bringing a new perspective to the university. Global China Connection is a student organization um, that is seeking to foster relationships between Chinese and American students on campus. So we hold cultural events, we hold mixers, those sorts of things, just to sort of start those relationships and just get the word out about China and Chinese business and just the cultural implications of those relationships. For Kathy and Abigail, religion is a topic that should be made more open on campus. GCC is not technically a religious focus group, so we don't usually talk about it much. But remember that we have international students from all over the world, so we have a lot of students with different beliefs. Um, so in Vietnam, it's very different compared to here. Like my dad is Baptist, and we went to I went to my first you know Baptist um, Sunday session, and um, when I went there, I was overwhelmed because everyone was so just passionate about what they were doing and. They were so loving, and it was a culture shock for me. Though I like it in a good way. It's very common to see, you know, a lot of Christians um, communities, and um, it's very nice to see, you know, everyone just getting together, and they're just so passionate about what they were doing. I think it's easy to talk about people talk about your religion with people who have the same faith as you. You know, if you're part of a religious organization, if you're part of a small group or a Bible study group. I think, you know, when it comes to if I'm sitting across from a stranger at um, USC, that it, it's almost difficult just to start the conversation. I mean, you have to have a lot of guts to bring it up on campus. I honestly believe that um, Christianity or religion in general is a topic on campus that is shied away from. Um, I don't feel like a lot of people really profess their faith or um, talk about it for that matter. I definitely think what would help is if more believers are bold about their faith, if more um, live what they believe. Could, if we were to, you know, just have a circle of people, you know, just talking about their own beliefs in a very free way, um, I feel like that, that could happen. I wish it was easier for, you know, um, a Muslim and a Christian and a Buddhist to sit across from each other and just have a conversation about faith and about what makes their faith unique and why they want to follow it. I would definitely encourage anybody to talk about their faith open, openly. I know it's kind of difficult to do that sometimes just because some people get offended and stuff, whether it be at BCM or Impact or anywhere else, just find something you can find a purpose at and help you grow.